After a fast sail down from Antigua, we arrived in De Hayes and Guadeloupe. This is our second time at the Anchorage. It's always so much more comfortable when you enter a place that you've been before. Our guest crew member, Dawa, took the lead on grabbing a mooring ball. If you're not sure on the steps involved with safely tying onto a mooring ball, make sure to purchase our guide, Mooring Balls Explained, a checklist for a secure mooring. Once our mooring was secured, we put the main sail in its sail bag, cleaned up the boat, and pulled the mahi-mahi we caught on the way over out of the fridge. To learn how to fillet a mahi-mahi, check out our separate video entitled How to Fillet a Mahi-Mahi. Once all the boat jobs were done and the fish was filleted, we dingied over to our buddy boat Rondo for a pot luck. On the menu was mahi-mahi, lionfish, and barracuda, in addition to a range of lovely side dishes. Next day, we decided to get a few odd jobs taken care of. Our British Army Association flag needed to be mended and put back on the pole, with the help of Sienna the goofball. Another job that we wanted to tackle was to replace the webbing that holds up our spray hood and bimini. Over time, the UV breaks down the threads that keeps the webbing attached. In the case of our spray hood webbing, we quickly replaced it with rope until I had the time to pull out the sewing machine. Many cruisers ask me, should I get a sewing machine, and if so, what one? Yes, I think it's worth having a sewing machine. The thread in your flags, webbing, cushions, winch and grill covers, sail bags, and even your sails will disintegrate way before the fabric does. Which machine should you get? Well, I've been using this rather inexpensive industrial strength singer for years. It's been fantastic. It is important, however, to stock outdoor UV resistant thread on board for use for your repairs. While Simon and I were replacing webbing, Dawa was replacing the fan that sits above my bed. When we were fishing, we went backwards in the boat and a uh, wave went over the back of the boat into our lazarette that was open and doused everything with salt water. So we've pulled all the ropes out of our lazarette and Dawa is just drying them now after he cleaned them. And what's Sienna doing while we're all working? Well, after she completes her homeschooling and before the other boat kids are ready to play, she amuses herself in a variety of ways. So right there is a French Canadian boat and it's a kid boat. There's one little girl on there. So Simon introduced ourselves and uh, Dawa just went to pick her up. And then Rondo is right there. So Dawa picked up, I think, Caitlin. And now, Dawa is over at Pura Vida picking up Katie Grace and Hayward. So Dawa is bringing them all to the little town dock, which is by that church there, that steeple. And all the kids are going to just jump in the water from the dock. They did it yesterday and had a good time. So it's nice that they have a, somebody new. I don't know if she speaks English or not, but I told Sienna to make her feel comfortable. That evening, our buddy boat Pura Vida came over for dinner. Simon made a curry for us all to enjoy. Dow and Hayward are getting ready for the green flash. There's a high potential that we might see it today because there's no clouds on the horizon. There's no wind, there's no nothing. So we might see the green flash. Watch, and this is where it's gonna happen in any second. Look, look at it, look at it. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Come on. As we pondered whether or not we really did see the green flash, the kids enjoyed dinner and made up a song for us. The eagle farted, the world departed, and all the humans died. Okay. That's a nice song. I thought it was... You like was it? that it? The next day, we rented a couple cars and took off in search of waterfalls. Life as a cruiser is quite varied. Some people that don't know much about our lifestyle think that once we move onto a boat, we rarely go back on land. Well, that's not true. Cruisers are travelers and they like to see the world. Wherever they go, they anchor and get off the boat to explore the sights. We eventually found a trail that supposedly led to a waterfall. The sign said that the trail was closed, but we decided to go anyway. Not wanting to get my sneakers dirty, I made a very big mistake and wore flip-flops.
I took my shoes off. After everyone had a snack and a swim, we headed back up. Should you fall over? Yes. Wow, I'm gonna enjoy it. We're getting back in the cars to go. Eventually, we made it home. Isn't that an amazing concept? Our home is our boat. We get to explore amazing sights all over the world, yet always come home at night. So how are we doing, kid? Really good. Chocolate panna. Panna chocolate. I know, that's the beautiful thing about the French island. We've got a boat full of kids. What are you doing, kids? Playing. Minecraft. Playing, what are you playing? Minecraft. Minecraft, and they're all connected. Yeah. Eating. Yeah, eat, yeah, eating. That's unusual for you, Hayward, eating. Plan today is it's 7.30, and um, there's Dower in the background, trying to be hiding away. There he is. We're going to leave the chase, and we're going to go to Pigeon Island, which is about an hour and a half sail. But with this wind, probably about two and a half. And then we're going to go snorkeling. It's supposed to be one of the best snorkels in the Caribbean. And then Ile de Saints. We've been there before, it's really nice. We're going to enjoy our sail today. It's going to be nice and easy. Oh, yes, and there's a fishing competition. I won the last one. Thank you, Shane, for having us. Thank you, De Hayes, for having us. Thank you, De Hayes, for having us. It was a wonderful anchorage. Good bakery. Oh, yes. Anything else to add? Good bakery. Yeah. Good bakery. We had a good time. Yeah. Caravita's heading out. We're heading out. Rando's heading out. They're back there. We know it. The kids are all leaving. Simon and Hayward are talking. There's a fishing competition today. We've got little Hayward in the green. He brought a pole. The girls are all really interested in playing Minecraft. Simon and Dawa are in the competition. And then we got Hayward over there. He's in the competition. Hayward's probably the best fisher fisherman that we've got around us. Are we keeping you awake? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just waiting to jump into action when we get a fish. Okay. I, I. See, we did a floor on the and there's poops. The first fishing pole going, the line going in. We got Hayward doing that. Dow is just tying something on to the fishing pole to make sure it stays on the boat in the holder once we get the big one. Simon's preparing the next line to go out and we've got the flag up because we repaired it the other day. We've got the wind coming straight on the beam. We're not going too far because we're going to a snorkeling site first and then we're going to Ile de Saint and we're doing about 3.8 knots. Very calm today but enough wind to fill the sail. Passing. <laughs> wow, we're fast. Wow. They're giving Pura Vida the loser sign. Yeah, we're racing along at 2.9 knots. Princess Fluffy is back there. They gave up with sailing because they couldn't really get an angle. And uh, so they've got their engine on now, so they're gonna catch us up. We're still sailing, but we're kind of going out to sea. So the engine's been turned on, and uh, 
We're heading in, getting the snorkeling gear prepared. Just coming up to the Jacques Cousteau underwater park. Can't wait to see what's there. So we just anchored and they have Simon looking for the anchor to make sure that it dug in. There's the place where we're going snorkeling. Thank you, Pigeon Island Anchorage, for having us. Thank yeah, you, Pigeon Island. Island. Yeah, Thank you, Pigeon Island. it was like that was excellent uh, s snorkeling. Thank you, Pigeon Island. Come out. It's the best conditions we've had in a long time. Slimy, I Any update on the fishing line? Yes, we don't. Just weeds? Alright. So many people farting. First and foremost, my blue co star Kim. Oh no. Now I'm diarrhea. Yeah. Diarrhea is not an adjective. Well, now it is. Now. Lots of seaweed. 
So this is where the fish hide out underneath these big patches of the sargasm. So Dawa and Hayward are trying to catch tonight's dinner and the girls are working on Mad Libs. Leave behind the teachers, hang evil. <laughs> downpour. There's Pura Vida there. And Rondo's next to us. Over there. And we've got some more friends that are in the anchorage here, but can't really get out right now. So hopefully this is going to pass over. The rain was in for the day, but the following day we woke up to blue skies, clear water, and another day in paradise. The Saints is a wonderful location to stop. Every direction provides something to make your eyes smile. The kids spent the day jumping off the boat and swimming all around. Then they enjoyed a couple hours of fort building. When it comes to boat kids, just because they're not in a house or on land, that does not stop them from building forts. It's really, it's really this is great! It's in a standing place, you can stand here. And this oh. is the bedroom. Wow! And I sleep right here next to Dan. Okay. And in the living room. Uh, so Hayward's in the living room. And I sleep in this bed right here. That's great! So you guys did really good in enclosing this. So you'll find the Saints 15 kilometers off the southern coast of Guadeloupe. It's a small archipelago made up of nine islands that were discovered by Christopher Columbus on the 4th of November, 1493. Once you get off the boat and toward the main street, you'll get a feel for the uniqueness of the area. It's as if you go back in time and are perhaps teleported to a European town. There's a great feel to the area and of course there's the benefits of French bread, pastries, and delicious French cuisine. Dominique today. Goodbye, Guadalupe. Thanks for having us.